I'll show you guys how to install the Chromebook operating system called Chrome OS into any Intel based computer. So if you have a Windows or a Mac that have a Intel chipset, you should be able to follow along to install the Chromebook operating system. So what you're going to need is you're going to need several files. And these are the files that you see here. And the requirements are you're going to need two USB drives, one because you're going to be using Linux, and two to put the actual files for the Chrome OS. So let's go ahead and start with Rufus. Most people know what Rufus is, so go ahead and download the application and go over to linuxmint.com and download Linux Mint. Once you download those two, go ahead and open Rufus first. And then select the USB drive where you want Linux to go to. Select the image for Linux. Leave this default and everything else. And then we're going to go ahead and start creating the bootable drive for Linux. Okay. In here, just select ISO image mode. And here, click OK. So once that's finished running, we'll go back to that later. And now we're going to move to the actual installation files. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need the script to install the Chrome OS. And this is on this link here, which I'll be putting every single link on the description below. What you do with this file is you actually copy the script, open your editor, paste the contents, and then you go to File, and select save as and here we're going to call it install sh and for the save type make sure this is selected to all files and then you click save okay once you created the install sh file next we're going to download the actual operating system for intel based computers i found that this one here called Ramus works the best. And as of today, the latest release is Recovery 87. And you go ahead and click on the latest release. And once you download this ISO file, you need to download another program called Brunch, which contains several files to be able to install the Chrome OS operating system. So since I downloaded uh, Ramus 87. I'm going to match that with Branch 87. So go ahead and download the appropriate Branch release. And then you download this tar.gz file. Alright, so once you download the Chrome operating system files, then the next step is to actually go inside the folder once you extract it. You're going to get a .bin file. And you want to rename, rename this bin file to Ramos underscore recovery. And the reason why you want to do that is if we look at the installation file, it's going to look for that specific file named Ramos underscore recovery .bin. So if you don't have a name, correctly it's not going to work during installation so make sure you rename it to that all right so the next step is to now put all the chrome os system files in the other hard drive i created a folder and call it chrome os which i already put all the files so i started with install.sh Ramos underscore recovery. And then for brunch, what you're going to need is you're going to need a application called 7-zip. If you Google 7-zip, you go ahead and install the 64-bit version if your computer is 64-bit. And once you install it, you're going to get a .tar file once you extract the folder for brunch. And 7-zip comes in handy when you had to extract that .tar file. So you go ahead and just click extract here. 
and you're gonna get these four files here which I already put in the uh, Chrome OS folder so if you look at the folder here you're gonna need one two three four five six files I believe four come from branch and then the install script and the operating system for Chrome OS okay so once Rufus finished creating the Linux Mint bootable drive then the next step is to insert the USB drive on your computer that you want to install Chrome OS and you need to be able to boot from that drive now keep in mind if you have a Windows computer where you're trying to convert Generally, you will press F8 or F10 when you restart your computer to be able to access the BIOS menu to select the USB drive. If you have a MacBook, when you restart your Mac, go ahead and hold and press the Option key until you get to the recovery menu. And once you get to the recovery menu, the USB drive should show from the list as EFI boot. You select that drive and then it should start loading Linux Mint. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you what you need to do in Linux Mint. All right, now that we have Linux Mint loaded in the computer, the next step is to go ahead and open a terminal window here on the bottom left. Once you have the terminal window open, go ahead and locate the USB drive where you put in the Chrome OS system files. So go ahead and connect it to the computer. Once you connect it, go to that folder where you have all the system files. And the next step is to actually change the path to this folder here. So what I do is I just select any of the files here, right click, go to properties, and on the location, just copy that location path. In here, we're gonna type in CD space, then we're gonna do single quotation mark, edit, paste, and then single quotation mark. Then press enter. You should be able to see this path change like that. Next, we need to change the install.sh file to a different carriage return, which is LF for Linux. So what you need to do is you need to go here to the start menu and then search for text and open the text editor okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop the file here you could modify it to look it like to look like the one that you see here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do file save as and then here line ending you want to switch this to unix linux and this is fine and then you click save and then replace and the reason why if you did this install.sh file in windows it might not be formatted properly to run in linux okay so once you've done that you go back to the black screen here and now we're going to run the script here so we're going to do sudo then the word sh and then follow by the script name and make sure you type it in the way you see here so i have a capital i so make sure you do capital i and then now you press enter okay now it's going to basically do the package updates first Okay, in here you go ahead and type in yes and press enter. As you see, it's going to start creating different partitions. I think it creates up to 12 partitions. And this might take about three to five minutes. All 
right so once the partition is finished you're gonna get this message here on the bottom that says Chrome OS installed and that basically means your system and your hard drive was formatted and now Chrome OS should be loaded so all you have to do is go here go to shutdown and restart your computer remove all your USB drives and when you restart your computer your Chrome OS system should boot up and you should be able to log in with your Gmail account and start modifying your Chromebook. Alright, well thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and please subscribe. Yeah.